Julia is a new programming language for data analysis that I'm just beginning to play with and uh, it has some really neat functions for introspection so if you go to the Julia prompt and you say uh, 2 plus 2 it adds up to 4 but if you say which 2 plus 2 it will actually tell you what function you called because uh, Julia functions use multiple dispatch which means that it depends which function is called depends on what type you uh, supplied as an argument so for example here we supplied two in 64s two numbers and it called a specific function which is located at int.jl on line 36 and when I saw this I thought that's brilliant I can just paste this into sublime text and it'll open that file on line 36 but then I thought hey I wonder if it's possible to Autom automatize that and the cool thing is that we can actually look at the code for which as well so which itself is a macro which is at util jl line 106 right so I could then say this we have to run it now we just generated a, a command line but we have to actually execute it Ah, of course it doesn't have the path, so src julia base, boom, and there we have which, and we have the macro which here, and so looking at this, I'm thinking, you know, and this is one of the beautiful things of Julia, is that almost all of the language is written in Julia, which means that it's really available for hacking and um, uh, building all upon, so looking at this I don't understand what most of it does I had to look up in the in the documentation and experiment quite a bit but basically what I did was just copying the whole thing and playing around with editing it a little bit and I came up with a new macro which is which does what I just did automatically so for example if I want to see the definition of 2 plus 2 the function run when I ask 2 plus 2, boom. This is if you have an int64 as x and an int64 as y, then this is what's happening. Um, so that's pretty neat. And here's just a bunch of debugging information that I uh, printed out because I haven't cleaned up yet. Now, we can using this, we can easily see that if we call plus on an array we're gonna get a totally different function which might even be located in a different file or even a different package so running this boom as you see we're now in array.jl and we're in a function that looks at how to add two arrays we can do this with two ranges and we're in range.jl or um, we could have two data frames so these are two data frames and we're now in uh, looking at the data array and how you're adding these and of course given we can also use this to look at the source of the function that I just wrote which would be right here and so you see I just copied the built-in function, changed the name, and added some information here. Now this is pretty crude. Uh, I'm hard coding the path, I'm uh, printing high to the bug whether it's going in there or not. Um, I could probably reduce all this text down to two, three lines once I actually figure out how Julia works and this type system and all of that. But having this tool is gonna help me figure out and you know, this is the first day I'm playing with Julia, so having my Hello World program be a tool that actually uses introspection and opens things automatically in Sublime, I think is pretty cool and says a bit about how flexible and powerful Julia is. So looking forward to creating a lot of cool stuff in the future.